Hi everybody, let's do IXL 7th grade B2, integers on number lines. So this one is fairly simple. All you have to remember is that all of the numbers in positive territory, meaning numbers that are to the right of zero, go up as you move to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. And all of the numbers in negative territory, that is numbers that are to the left of zero, go up as you move to the left. So one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Now, what I just told you was technically not true because technically as we move to the left, all of the numbers are getting smaller. So I shouldn't really have said that they go up, but I hope you understand what I mean, which is that if we just ignore the negatives for a second and just focus on counting, we're counting up one, two, three, four as we move to the left. Okay, although, although since these are negative, technically uh, negative three is smaller than negative two. But we're, you, I hope you understand what I'm talking about as far as counting goes. All right, so for this exercise, all you need to do is type in the number that, that uh, goes in the box on the number line. So here I see zero, and here I see two, and what should come between zero and two is one. All right, positive one, because we're in positive territory over here, okay? Let's see here, zero, one, two, three, four, five. So really, this is a very simple exercise. It's just intended to give you an intuitive understanding of the number line so you, that you can draw it on a piece of paper and also see it in your head. All right, so here's zero, one, two, three, four. Are they gonna give me any negatives? Yeah, here we go. Zero, negative one, negative two, negative three. All right, and again, I'm in negative territory here. Here's zero, so then this should be negative one and negative two. All right, let's do one more from this level. Again, these are both in negative territory. So zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. All right, okay, let's move on to the next level, see if we get a different type of question. Okay, so for this problem, I don't see where zero is, um, but clearly I'm in negative territory because all of these numbers here are negative numbers, right? So I just have to remember that I'm counting up as I move to the left. And again, technically that's not true because as I move to the left, you know, I'm really the, the numbers are going down, so they're getting smaller. In other words, negative 48 is considered to be a smaller number than negative 46. But I hope you understand that what I really mean is that we're counting up. So again, if we ignore all the negatives, right, then it would be 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So we're counting like that. So after 43 here should be 44, but remember that was, I blotted these out, but that should really be a negative 44. So don't forget to put that in. All right, so we have negative 44, negative 45, negative 46, negative 47. Okay, and here again, we have, we're in negative territory. I see those negatives right there. So I'm just going to count like this, negative 27, negative 28, negative 29, negative 30, negative 31, negative 32. Right, so these numbers, again, technically we're moving down on the number line because whenever we move to the left on the number line, that's quote unquote down. But it, as far as counting goes, you would count like you would normally count, um, just you know, without the negatives, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Just remember that you have to count that way if you're in negative ter territory as you move to the left. If you were in positive territory, then you're counting up as you move to the right. Okay. 
All right, so now I'm in positive territory here. So I see 15, 16, 17, this should be 18. And I think I skipped this one. So this should be 14, right? 14, 15, 16, 17, and so on. Okay, so let's skip ahead. Okay, so now we are counting by fives, it seems, right? So we have in negative territory, the numbers, if really what I should be saying is I, if we talk about the absolute value, so the absolute value of negative five is five. The absolute value of negative 15 is 15. The absolute value of negative 20 is 20. So if I just focus on the absolute values of these numbers, then they're going up as I move to the left if I'm in negative territory. So this would be five and then 10, but now I have to remember that the negative 10. And then if I'm in negative territory, as I move to the right, the numbers would be going down. So if this is negative 10 and this is negative five, then this should be zero because that's five, high, five spaces to the right of negative five is zero. All right, it looks like I'm counting by tens here in negative territory. So that means that the absolute values are going up as I move to the left. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not counting by tens, I'm counting by fives, all right? So negative 60, and then this would be negative 65, negative 70, negative 75, negative 80, right? Let's see, what are we counting by? It looks like we're counting by twos here. So in negative territory, you can see the absolute values are going up as we move to the left. In positive territory, the numbers are the numbers and the absolute values are going up as we move to the right. So zero, two, four, six, eight, and so on. Okay, let's skip to the next level. Alrighty, uh, looks like we're counting by twos here. Again, in negative territory, the absolute value of the numbers, all right, which you can just think of as ignoring the negative signs for a moment. The absolute values are going up as we move to the left, even as the numbers are getting smaller because they're negative, the absolute values, meaning we, if we ignore the negatives for a second, are moving up as we go to the left. So negative 78, if I'm counting by two, the next thing would be negative 80. And then in negative territory, territory, as I'm moving to the right, the absolute values are getting smaller. And again, I'm counting by twos. So 74, 72, 70, this would be 68, but that's a negative 68. All right, and then negative 66. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Oh, there is no next level. All right, so I'm going to end the video there. Um, have a great day.